What's up guys, it is your girl Bob Jalam. Welcome back to my channel where I talk all things basketball. All right y'all, I'm in a super happy mood. Finally, 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 my favorite player is back to play. Y'all give a big round of applause to Paul George. All right y'all, but seriously, uh, I am super happy that he is back. Um, he had a great first two games. He scored like 70 points. Um, against the Hawks and against the Pelicans. Now, even though one of those games is going to in a loss, I'm not really harping too bad on it just because they still have to figure out their flow. This is like the first week where PG is back playing with them. So I'm not really too worried about the whole situation. I think everything will be fine and it'll work out towards the end of the season. We're only like 14, 12, 13, 14 games in at this point. I think in this instance, they're just going to have to figure out how to play together on the floor and how to make the offense and defense flow well amongst the whole team. All right, guys, I know some of you out there are diehard Mellow fans, you know, Mellow hoodie season and all that good stuff. So Mellow has finally been signed to a team. Shout out to the Trailblazers for picking him up. I think uh, the Blazers could use as much help as they could get. They have not been doing well so far in this season. So it's good to see them pick up someone who could add some offense to their game. Who knows what kind of a difference Melo is going to make with the Blazers, but hopefully it's a positive one. I, I would think it could only be a positive one. I mean, they've already been doing so bad. How much more bad could they be? <laughs> On another positive note, the Sacramento Kings have finally started to click. They're winning games now. Initially, they were like 0-5, and, and now they are 6-7. and seven. So that says a lot. They definitely turn things around. Luke Walker just might be the coach for them. Initially, I was a little afraid because they were losing badly. And they were doing so well last season. It just sucked to see them losing once again after finally getting used to winning culture. So let's see if the Kings can make a playoff run this season. Um, I won't say that they will sneak into the playoffs. I would love to see it. But, you know, the season is so long. There's still like 60, 70, 60 plus almost 70 games left. So... Again, we'll just have to see what happens. Speaking of the Kings, they broke the Celtics winning streak. Celtics were on a roll. They were 10 and one, and the Kings held on to, I guess, crush their dreams. The ending of that game was crazy, um, very unexpected. Um, I mean, just imagine the feeling if you're a Celtics fan and you think the shot is going in and it doesn't, like, yikes. Um, shout out to the Kings for doing what they had to do. Buddy Hill had a great game that game. Bogey has been playing good as usual. And it'll be great to see when D-Fox comes back, De'Aaron, uh, and Bagley as well. So yeah, shout out to the Kings. More sucky news for Warriors fans. I don't know how I would feel if I was a Warriors fan right now. It's just been a, a long string of of weird circumstances that the Warriors have had to deal with. With Clay being out, Deirdre Draymond being out, Stephen being out, and now D'Lo has sprained his thumb and he's going to be out for another two weeks. Uh, this was announced on the 17th. And this is the 20th now, so he has a week and a half before he will be reevaluated to see if he can play again. So hopefully he recovers swiftly and he's healthy once again and he'll be able to play. They've won, they just won one game uh, against the Grizzlies, uh, but they have not been doing all that well, which is crazy. You would think last year they were the most feared and now it's almost like they're the laughing stock of the NBA. So. It's crazy how quick life comes at you. All right, guys, now it is time for one of my favorite segments where I get to show you my favorite dunk, my favorite play creator, and my favorite assist of the game. I want you guys to pay good attention to the assist. It is a cool play. I love the ball movement in this particular play. Notice who it starts with and who it ends with. Um. 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 Alright guys, so first 
first and last in the east. We have Celtics first. Ah! We have Celtics first in the east, and Wizards are last, unfortunately. We have Lakers first in the west, and Warriors last. I want you guys to let me know who you think will be first and last in the east and the west by the end of this season. I appreciate y'all for checking out my NBA recap for this week. And I will see you guys in my next video.